Welcome to Agoracom, the small cap epicenter in Agoracom TV, a daily fast-paced edgy show bringing the best press releases out of the small cap world every morning at the open so you can hopefully profit from them and maybe even find your next great small cap investments. Friday, March the 27th, typically a new, uh, slow news cycle day, but in fact, I've got five great press releases for you from China to results to the resources space. Let's get straight to it. Let's get to the results first because that's what we like. China Automotive Systems trades on the NASDAQ, CAAS, closed at $4, $3.85 yesterday. So that's why we're reporting on NASDAQ company. They report their fourth quarter and full year numbers. I'm going to give you the full year numbers, and you can always go over the fourth quarter on your own. This is a power steering components and system supplier in China. They've been on Agoracom TV before. Here are the annual highlights. Sales up to $163 million, $163 million. that's up 22.1%. Gross profit up to 47.3 million, that's up 4.3%. Pro forma net income, $14.2 million compared to $8.1 million. Pro forma diluted earnings per share, 48 cents compared with 34 cents last year. That comes out to 41.2% increase and pretty significant when you consider the fact that companies are trading at 385. You got a company here that's trading at just over seven times earnings. Pretty good considering they got 22% revenue growth. You might want to take a look at this company. Uh, closed yesterday at $3.85. Next up, China Armco Metals trades on the OTC, CNAM. They're a distributor of imported metal ore and growing scrap metal recycling. Now, their numbers were down, but here's the reason why I'm reporting it. First of all, revenues. 55.5 million down compared to 75.3 million. As you can imagine, negatively affected by the sharp decline in the price of metals in the second half of the year. Net income, $3.3 million. That compares to $5.4 million last year. Earnings per share, 44 cents per share. This is the number I want to get to. That's why we're reporting on it here. They closed yesterday at $2.25. That means this company right now is trading at somewhere around uh, six times earnings. Uh, maybe even five, uh, five to five and a half times earnings. Pretty cheap, uh, nonetheless. Even though they, even though they're down for the year, pretty good numbers. And if you believe in China, scrap metals company, this is where you want to be. They've only got 7.5 million shares outstanding. Another good thing I want to point out to you. That's China Armco Metals. Next up, Petakia Minerals, TSX, PTQ for our friends in the U.S., PTQMF, and for our friends in Germany, P7Z. They announced a $40 million convertible senior secured notes financing and repricing of warrants. Pretty big news in this environment uh, when you can get $40 million done. This is a convertible senior secured note. Each note uh, is convertible into common shares priced at $2.25. Now, the company closed yesterday at 37 and a half cents. So they're, so they're way off of that. Pardon me, my microphone fell off here. So they're way off of that. But in the meantime, it's going to bear interest at an annual rate of about 15%. And the first 12 months interest are going to be paid up front. So the secured credit holders here are, getting, are going to have uh, uh, get some good return for now until it can get at that convertible price. In the meantime, the company is, well, here's why the deal is done. It's emerging gold producer scheduled to bring its 100% owned Malihon gold project into production in 2009. So that's why uh, the company is able to secure this kind of financing. Let's go on to New Dawn Mining, this is an Agoracom client, trades on the big board, TSX, under the stock symbol ND. You remember a report on the company a number of times. Uh, the last year they had production of about 8,650 ounces, brought in revenue of about $7.5 million. We like companies like this. Always have to disclose it's a client, but we don't talk about news here of clients unless it stands on its own two feet. Great news there. Why? Got more policy changes taking place in Zimbabwe right now that are going to positively impact the company. Uh, these are these are changes outlined in the short-term emergency recovery program. We're going to call that STIRP to make things easy. Uh, and as said, they're going to have a direct positive impact on the company's Turk mine specifically. Here's how. First of all, uh, the new STIRP eliminates any retention on revenue derived from export sales. In January of 2009, uh, Zimbabwe's uh, pol uh, monetary policy statement reduced retention from 15% to 7.5%. Looks like it totally eliminates it now. Great for the company. The result is it allows gold producers to continue to market their gold directly and to now retain 100% of their proceeds from such gold sales in foreign currency. 
The store, the store proposes to review taxation and ro royalty structures to bring them in line with international standards as well. Hasn't been done yet, but looks like Zimbabwe is really moving forward. Great news here for New Dawn because it eliminates a lot of the political risks that people might fear. Uh, the STIRP maintains the previous threshold that any business transaction under $5 million doesn't, res doesn't need uh, Reserve Bank of Zimbabwe approval. For New Dawn, this permits flexibility for future gold sales. And as I said, given the fact that companies are already producing uh, 8,650 ounces and that's on the way up and generates some significant revenue, this really has a great impact on the company. And it shows that Zimbabwe continue to move to, continues to move forward. A little bit about New Dawn, if you don't know them, uh, they're in Southern Africa. That's where they're that's where they're focusing, and particularly in Zimbabwe, they're well established there with three mines, two production facilities, and a signi and significant resources. They closed yesterday at 45 cents. And finally, we've got Gamma, Pharmace Gamma Pharmaceuticals. Uh, they announced that they got a PO from a Texas distributor worth about a million and a half dollars retail. Gamma trades on the OTC under GMPM. This is for its juggler brand energy products. Uh, it's taken on by Texas Liquid Energy Distribution of San Antonio. They deliver to convenience stores and supermarkets, uh, as you can imagine, with a particular focus on San Antonio. Uh, the company estimates that this should lead to a retail market sale of about $1.5 million in 12 months. And if it goes well, bodes well for future sales. Also, they did close yesterday at just $0.09. Cents. That's way off their 52-week high of $2.50. So you may want to go take a look at, uh, at the company, make sure there aren't any one-time negative effects that might have occurred early in the year. That's a wrap. Great day for a Friday. Love the amount of news that came out. As always, if you look for more great small cap companies, don't forget about the Agoracom front page and the marketplace. Front page has all the latest breaking news uh, separated by industry, so you, can, so you can find the one that best suits your portfolio. And the marketplace has about 70 companies listed by industry and exchange with great summary descriptions so you can quickly review them and find your next great small cap investment. That's a wrap. Have a great day. Have a fantastic weekend. See you on Monday.